नमस्कार सभी को थैंक यू मैडम फॉर द वेरी काइंड वर्ड्स बट लेट मी कन्फेंस यू यू आर वन ऑफ माय मैंटर एंड इट इज रियली प्राउड प्रिवलेज दैट यू हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड मी इट इज वन ऑफ द मेमोरी लाइफ टाइम पीरियड फॉर मी आराध्य के चरणों में वंदन रिस्पेक्टेड ऑल डिग्नेटरीज good evening one and all uh, it is my proud privilege to put few thoughts and few views uh, on the topic which was given to me for the today social cohesion and global well being and sustainable development in front of the international academic black sea of intellectuals across the globe uh and it is really a proud privilege for me that dr martin is also uh present in the uh, this lecture uh let me uh, let me uh, clear from my side that they are the only few points and lot of different school of thoughts on this particular topic are available but uh i'm sure that they are the commas not the full stop and the, uh, we will uh, discuss after the deliberations about the different thoughts different activities my views and the presentations would be divided into three sub sections number one for first uh, i'll give you the few thoughts or points for the ponder or kind of questions uh, regarding the theoretical aspects of this particular topic and it will be followed by the ppt with the recent example of corona that we can understand in a better way or in a better manner and after the ppt uh, i will also speak out the few clippings of the news paper so what all is going on across the india and across the world so that we can understand this particular topic in a best way uh before coming to the topic or the theoretical aspects which i would uh, like to emphasize here uh prior to that i will be uh, i am a strong believer or a believer of three different quotations that number one quotation is that thousand miles of journey started with a small step if we will be able to do some work some thinking or some kind of participation some kind of implementation in social cohesion for the global well being and sustainable development meaning thereby that we are in a real sense of human being so we have started a journey although it is a small step a long way of 1000 miles we have to go number 2 small small changes will make a large change of changes number 3 each and every drop of contribution of each individual from every section of population counts in the ocean now i'll come to the my topic that is the social cohesion for global well being and the sustainable development uh is that i'm audible clearly yes yes okay thank you so much uh peace stability and human rights are the essential for achieving development not only in india but also in the world at large peace and stability plays a very significant role in achieving human well being and development it is for this reason that the post 2015 un agenda suggests that the peace is the one of the essential element for delivering the sustainable development goals this clearly indicates no development especially a sustainable development is possible without the peace and stability thus the issue of peace stability and human rights necessitates the active involvement of all professions and individuals at different level for the social cohesion 
now let me come to the concept of social cohesion in a very uh, simpler way social cohesion refers to the strength of the relationship and the sense of solidarity among members of the community one indicator of social cohesion is the amount of social capital a community has social capital deals with the shared group resources like a friend of a friend knowledge for a job opening now uh, what are different factors for the social cohesion the different findings and the researches reveal that the six social factors of the social cohesion namely the membership attraction perceived cohesion participation shared community value social capital and role of institutions were affected the social cohesion it is a million dollar question that why social cohesion is important for the development to be socially cohesive is to have a sense of belongingness and be feeling and build good relationship with the community members it opens gateways of the opportunities to society members and fosters positive mobility towards each others well being the concept of sustainable development previously has been approached in terms of the ecology and economy so far different definitions with different connotations have been given and the issue and the challenges of the concept explained by the various national and international bodies and individuals the biggest contribution came from the brooklyn commission that defined sustainable development as development that means the need of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs world commission 1987 this approach to development talks about the invisible intergenerational deals that flows from idea that the future generation has a right to all the natural resources and that it is the responsibility of the current generation to let these resources pass on them peacefully safeguard safeguarding the rights of the future generation to inherit the different resources and responsibility of the current generation to pre preserve renew or rehabilitate these resources requires political as well as individual will the current development paradigm takes a materialistic view of the world focusing on growth of economies with every developed and developing countries jumping into the fairy without weighing the consequences of unplanned and random growth political and commercial establishments are busy in attempting an increase in production and a search for new markets to sell and fill production of goods this race of infinite growth undoubtedly causes an exploitation of available resources and a look out for hidden natural resources and hence it is a imbalances between the environment and the human being now let's come to the official definition of the sustainable development sustainable development is the idea that human societies must live and meet their needs without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs now what is the social cohesion in the uh, sustainable development social cohesion is attracting considerable attention among policy makers across the world a cohesive society can be understood as a society that strives for social inclusion and builds up the necessary social capital to create a common sense of belonging and as a place where prospects exist for upward social what is the social development in the sustainable development social development is based on positive human people oriented development in our society
the basic principles are human dignity equality social justice and equitable distribution of resources people's participation and empowerment are necessary condition sometimes social cohesion are also used with different synonyms and interchangeably with the word or we can say other words for use for the social cohesion they are the civil cohesion community cohesion social cohesion social relations and the solidarity in all over the world they are used interchangeable in nature how does a social cohesion benefit to the society a, a, a socially cohesive society is one which works towards the well-being of all its member each and every one fights exclusion and marginalization creates a sense of belongingness promotes trust and offers its members the opportunity of the upward mobility uh, what would happen without the social caution? It is a, another question which ponders in our mind. Social caution is an end, but also a useful means. To go far, uh, so far without social caution, it would be very difficult to maintain the long-term process. And this was very nicely argued by, uh, argued by Dr. Jute how social cohesion affects the economy uh, social cohesion does improve economic growth through preventing physical and human capital destruction and building social capital cooperation and trust between the individuals of the society the economic cost can uh, cost to be occurred by the absence of social caution is very high if we take care of the three factors of the sustainability that can be very practically understood by the dramatic uh, uh, diagrammatically that th there are three pillars of the sustainability economic viability environmental protection and the social equality what are the different factors for the sustainability among the social caution the topics that social sustainability concepts integrates include uh, are not limited to health and social equity human rights labor rights practices and decent working conditions social responsibility and justice community development and well-being product responsibility community re resilience and the cultural integration if we take care of the example of the social sustainability quality of life with social sustainability for example, affordable housing, physical and mental, medical support, education, training opportunities, employment opportunities, access to support, and of course, safety and the security is on the topmost priority. Uh, if we think about the different indicators of the social cohesion, Horizontal social cohesion refers to the quality of relationship between among equals or the near equals for both individuals and the diverse group of population within the society. That is the levels of the solidarity, trust, acceptance, reciprocity, mutuality, and multiplicity of the link. How does social cohesion uh, influence the individual's growth? Researchers suggested that the social cohesion underpins the national policies and the political decisions may influence individual health through providing equal opportunity and mitigating the poverty, disparity, and the social exclusion. Now, how the social exclusion can a social cohesion can be achieved by the societies or how it can be achieved social cohesion involves building shared values and communities of the interpretation reducing disparities in the wealth and income and generally enabling people to have a sense that are engaged in the common enterprise 
facing shared challenges and that they are the members of the same community. Sometimes what is the opposite word for the social cohesion? We can use just opposite of social cohesion in terms of social dissolution. Uh, is social collusion is the same as the solidarity? The cohesion concept defines the social structure based on the interpersonal linking relations for the actors in the group. Solidarity defines the social structure based on rights within the group as we have defined it. Uh, uh, what is the importance of this particular social cohesion in daily life? Cohesion is an important feature of academic writing, uh, academic writings as well as in our daily uh, way of life. It can help ensure that our, our writings coheres on the sticks together, working together, having a we feeling, uh, not having a I feeling, just opposite to I when we work together in a community, which will make it easier for the reader to follow the main ideas of essays or reports on the social cohesion. Uh, what are the uh, different advantages for the social cohesion in a community cohesion? Building cohesive communities brings whose benefits by creating a society in which people from different ethnic, cultural, religious, and other different backgrounds can live and work together in an atmosphere of mutual respect and understanding that we have seen very clearly and visible in corona wave one corona wave two and after corona period lot of changes and lot of cohesiveness come together together in the different societies why social development is important for the economic growth and social cohesiveness a country's economic growth directly affects the government ability to improve the social development and sustainability of the citizens in the country economic growth and social development are tightly correlated because a country needs money to improve the living conditions and the quality of life of its citizens what is the importance of social cohesion belonging to different appropriate groups social cohesion is very important and driving of long-term prosperity and the competitiveness Cohesive societies are politically stable and focus on economic growth and business development. So uh, social cohesion itself built over years, not in overnight. The Global Wellbeing Initiatives is a journey exploration to understand our common human desire for well-being while also exploring cultural manifestations of our universal strivings for a good life what are the different indicators for our well-being then indicators such as people's health status happiness personal security social connectedness and other non-monetary measures are used in conjunction with the country's gross domestic product a more accurate view of human well-being can be achieved it can be improved through a different global scale that i'm just uh, pointing out what are the different five scales here are the five steps to improve personal well-being societal cohesion and the greater cooperation with our future number one increasing support to mental health during the last century major efforts have been deployed to promote the physical health cooperation caring economics promoting altruism a new economic harmony and why well-being is important especially in the nowadays previously people were thinking about only the physical uh, physical health but if we think the physical health mental health intellectual health cognitive health psychosocial health everything is important in the well-being of the individual i will discuss the different uh, indicators also for the well-being well-being is a fundamental to our health and overall happiness 
having a strong and well adapted sense of well being can help us overcome difficulties and help us achieving our goals uh, uh, in life and it is given also in sdg 3 aim to prevent the needless suffering from the preventable diseases and premature death by focusing on key targets that boost the health of a country's overall population reasons with the with the highest burden of the disease and neglected population groups and uh, reasons are the, uh, the priority areas what are the different five areas of the well being evidences suggested that five steps we can take help to improve our mental health and well being these are number 1 connect number 2 be active number 3 take notice number 4 keep learning and number 5 most important to give the design and the pace of development being experienced today makes the idea of sustainability look remote in such scheme of things people are experiencing changes in their lifestyle as a say uh, as a say rich are getting richer and poor are getting poorer the sustainability would require the well being of a defined population should be at least constant over time and preferable increasing for there to be sustainable development for global well being there are the six steps which were uh, given by the who uh, uh, during the corona period how how we can uh, have a better well being or how we can uh, have a journey for the well being and six those steps are number one is the physical activity for uh, global well being every individual every society every group and the every organization should be physically active each individual have a quality sleep minimum 7 7 hours depending upon the age group if the age group is lower than the 7 to 10 uh, 10 hours and if age group is more than 50 years or uh, a person who is above 50 years 7 7 hours sound sleep is required and supportive relationship we should have a strong network to whom we can share and care mindfulness practices which includes yoga meditation and other things ba- number 5 that is the balanced nutrition uh, our diet should be a combination of in terms of our uh, flag triangular flag in terms of india like it should have uh, rich vitamin uh, vitamins proteins carbohydrates fats minerals and uh, 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 minimum 8 to 10 glass of water in a day and the mental health care now man uh, now mental health is just not away from the disorders any kind of anxiety stress and anything uh, which disturbs our daily life daily routine or daily activity that comes under the category of mental stress anxiety depression and other things so we have to take care of our mental health also along with the physical health now may i request the organizers to show my ppt so i can explain few more examples with the help of corona and present situation yeah. i think so ma'am you had shared it earlier no yeah but yeah. Uh, i think it's better it will be shared from your side okay uh, okay yeah. uh, in between uh, i will just share few things uh, that um, uh, during uh, as we all know from past 24 months we have a different societal scenario and we have a different kinds of uh, like uh, each and every walk of life affected by the corona and it is not uh, related to only one country but across the world and people have shared the uh, many thoughts many studies and everything and the corona wave one wave two 
that affects our life uh, in terms of physical also in terms of mental also or i can say every walk of life uh, even our productivity even working condition and uh, sometimes it is a kind of curse but i see it as a in terms of opportunity because as we are interacting uh, each other that is also due to uh, after the educational uh, educational atmosphere we adapted in terms of online and uh, we were very familiar with the different uh, digital devices different uh, kinds of platforms that may include zoom google or webex and other things my first slide shows how the different news especially those news are coming for the 24 hours and how it affects our mental status and uh, different section of populations and how it has an impact on the psychosocial um, it is a very beautiful diagram um, uh, see uh, in uh, covid uh, 19 the media has taken a major turn and that gives a lot of a uh, lot of rumors or a lot of that kind of um, news which affect uh, directly to each section of population across the world and uh, later on different uh, i will also discuss the study later on lot of psychosocial impacts were after the corona it is visible although we have successfully uh, fighted with the corona and but that uh, that has given the different concerns to think over the global well-being and the social cohesiveness for our sustainable development number number one concern is the pandemic uh, uh, triggered and the all emotional physical and economic issues but not only economic issues physical and emotional but in the mindset of the crisis and the nations have shared learn from each other of different kinds of experiences and studies have also showed that the uh, various other status are also added to the individual's emotional burdens such as social isolation we talked about the social distance but the people are uh, jump to social distance to the social isolation unemployment we have seen uh, economic crisis uh, economic losses <laughs> while caring for the children and the other family members. Uh, I was also looking up the psychological counseling cell of the university. One day, one of my colleagues, he has come and he has shown, uh, uh, he has asked me, Madam, that we have only one laptop and my wife is also working and we have uh, two kids. Just um, uh, number four. Um, four numbers like yeah these are uh, these are the sustainable development goals this is the first concern uh, after this and uh, we after this yeah and he said that we have only one laptop and my wife is also teacher and my both the children both the kids are working and uh, on monday i used to go for i used to go for work from home and tuesday my wife is taking the class and wednesday uh, wednesday my younger uh, child will take uh, the classes from his school and the thursday the elder one and friday we are keeping free that whose uh, need and priority will be there that we will work according to that and we have seen that uh, even the lack of uh, the personal protective equipment that also gives the lot of emotional eating to the doctors as well as the nurses lot of fake news were there burnout were, was there gossip was there and the uh, uh, i can say different difficult decisions which 
parents uh, with patients and the patients relative parents they were received from the different resources next slide please uh, uh, next slide uh, the major concern uh, for the next slide on the global well-being is that uh, there are four categories of people a people who suffered from the covid and a people who have seen their parents and their siblings who are suffering from the covid and people who are elderly in the family they have a kind of fear of the family and number four category who are taking care of the covid patients so a uh, lot of a uh, uh, lot of sufferings were there uh, and uh, illness and potential deaths and whose family members case uh, the, the care workers they all were the witness and suffering from the death now next concern will be uh, every day we were listening about the uh, uh, by the different way of mouth uh, the electronic media and the print media these are the different uh, the, the third uh, concern which has given the every day a figure about the number of cases uh, recovery and deaths and other other things next slide please in the next slide uh, i have given a uh, uh, i have given a kind of uh, uh, next slide please i have given a kind of uh, 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 yeah this is a uh, different concerns were there and people were unable to understand what they have to uh, what they have to do and what they uh, they do not have to do and what what are the protocol system every day the guidelines are changing so uh, here are three c approach for the global well being that is number 1 connect number 2 is the communicate and number 3 is the constructive thought always connect with the your family members to whom you have a full faith those who take care of you and you can share your thoughts and communicate your feelings whatever feelings ventilation of feelings and the constructive thought must come under uh uh constructive thoughts must be uh, developed maybe in terms of hobby maybe in terms of and uh, any any kind of singing any kind of skill or any kind of thing in which it gives you the happiness otherwise uh, we have seen lot of tcds that is post uh, covid uh, uh, disorder syndrome was also achieving and the next slide uh, if we think about the overall uh, uh, global well being which influence to individual in terms of macro system micro system and the meso system and different indicators are given in the next slide uh, next uh, next in this i have already discussed that people have seen lot of um, their family members and their death uh, this is a kind of study which we have done in the chhattisgarh uh, especially the well being of the uh, young uh, those who are uh, below 35 years and uh, around 250 uh, google uh, forms we were uh, uh, we received from the all over the 27 districts of the chhattisgarh and we found that 35.1% respondents reported that they developed the anxiety system 20% they developed the depressive systems although they were physically all right but during the corona wave 1 and corona corona wave 2 they developed the these kind of symptoms and 18.2% developed the poor sleep quality so that also itself is a uh, concern for the well being of the individual how it affects their the physical and the mental health next slide it is a very important challenge across the world how the stress can be developed 
into the wellness of the society if we are unable to develop the wellness of the society then uh, the small stress, uh, stress may develop into the depression obsessive uh, disorders and that may lead to a psychosis and the uh, neurosis or the even the schizophrenia also mental disorders will be there next next slide will uh, this is again a study which was developed uh, which was conducted in the uh, college going students and it was found that uh, in the trauma and the stress related disorders they developed 20.3 percent people anxiety and depression they developed around 30 percent uh, uh, students and uh, uh, around 13.3 percent students they start substance using that is a very alarming situation for the wellness and even the 10.3 percent people they developed the suicidal ideation they thought the very negative thoughts next slide please now the late, uh, latest concept is social health is linked with the behavior also and mental social behavior health problems may interact to intensify their effects on the behavior and the well-being and now very important concept people have a lot of myth about the mental health but mental health is more than the absence of the mental disorders and how to avoid the mental disorders in a society or in a group or in the organization next slide please try to stop the uh, spread of the false information next next uh, uh, next slide yeah this is very important never try to be the part of the rumors and never spread the rumors if we will not uh, spread the rumors and we will not part of the rumors then our mental status and the well uh, well-being will be better and we will be having a um, well-being so always remember try to stop the uh, uh, false information because we never know what kind of false information gives a uh, uh, have an impact on individual next slide please uh, next uh, yeah here it is mental health another concept is it is also related to socio economic and the environmental factors and now it is visible very much uh, we can see in uh, our near dears and the nearby areas and the communities also next uh, next slide. In the next slide, I have given a small concept of what is the well-being. The concept of well-being is closely related to the concept of the quality of life. Uh, uh, both concerns the satisfaction of the uh, material, biological, psychological, social and cultural needs and the demands of an individual which are necessary for, necessary for his satisfaction of life. Next slide. In a next slide, it is very important that we have to understand the well-being in a holistic manner. Different disciplines have examined different aspects of well-being, which includes the physical well-being, economic well-being, social well-being, emotional well-being, psychological well-being, life satisfaction, domain of cognition, affective psychomotor, specific uh, the uh, uh, specific satisfaction, and amazing activities and the work next slide please in the next slide uh, this is a psychosocial development we can skip this slide in the next slide uh, i have given the five pillars uh, five pillars of the well-being working together i'll come to this slide please uh, stay in this slide that is physical well-being mental well-being financial well-being social well-being and each pillar contributes to the overall well-being and benefits of achieving good well-being we should have a combination of all the other well-being and uh, this particular slide is a very important in terms of thinking that the, in the second wave of corona first 10 days we received the 1 lakh 90 thousand uh, 90 thousand 
uh, 350 different calls from the uh, small children who are less than 14 years old and uh, among these calls 40 percent calls were the silent so that is a uh, alarming situation for the well-being of the children how we we are taking care of uh, their well-being and what measures are required next slide please in a next slide, as we all know, uh, in the first wave and second wave, a lot of family violence was there. And it is very significant uh, in India, although it is uh, across the globe, family violence is there. And uh, especially when both the partners are staying at home and threatening the uh, safety and the security of the women and the children. And it increases the, although woman is having a double, uh, double uh, work for a uh, double work um, environment but uh, due to corona a lot of household burdens also increase in the women because all maids were not there so they have to do a lot of household work and they have to fulfill the wishes of each and every individual of the family so a lot of uh, again it is a uh, alarming situation for us to think how to have a happy family next slide please in a next slide um, next slide uh, these are the different human concerns which uh, everyone is thinking and it counts on the well global well-being they are the employment discipline behavior status communication family friends and social relationship and these all can be take care by the connecting with each other even in the individual family community society and between the nations now next slide please uh, if we are thinking in terms of social cohesion uh, next provide hope uh, if we are thinking in terms of the social cohesion sustain next slide please sustainable development and the global well-being so as a, a academician we have to do the research uh, because now scenario is changing and global well-being is the most important for the sustainable development and under that we need to have a social cohesion how to achieve social cohesion uh, we can tell our students, our friends, our colleagues that these are the new areas which needs the uh, which needs the research. And a uh, few topics I have listed down, social communication and social relationship during and after the pandemic, local knowledge and conceptualization of dealing with the pandemic, community health and mental health approaches and practices in dealing with the pandemic, renewal strategies for the the local um, economy next slide alliance buildings and the networking among the different societies and development of the health professionals human right uh, practices social policy practices with reference of pandemic vulnerable groups and their coping and resilience strategies next slide uh, next uh, now uh, these we have to be let go of they may be a fear perfectionism grudges toxic people comparison and worries and the other slides are uh, in relation to how we cope up with the pandemic and how we uh, if handle uh, the pandemic and especially in terms of the well-being now uh, we can skip all these slides next 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 uh, second last uh, yeah uh, okay uh, yeah, these are the dip, uh, different uh, uh, different uh, slides which requires the uh, attention for the well-being. Next, please. Uh, we can go. Yeah, next. These all we have discussed. Uh, yeah, next. Yeah, in, uh, in conclusion, I can say if we want to achieve the uh, social cohesion, uh, 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 for the global well-being in terms of the sustainable development, we have to take care of these five points, that is love and connect between the society and the organization, monitor and observe, guide and limit, uh, model and consult, provide, um, uh, provide and the advocate. We have to do a lot of uh, loving work also for the global well-being. Next, please.
uh, this is a small game which we can play with the uh, younger age group so that they can develop a, a different concept of the social cohesion and the global well-being next please yeah, these are the different uh, 17 uh, SDGs on which we are working and we have to achieve on 2030. Next, uh, I think that is the last slide. Yeah. Now, most important thing is that we have to focus on our strength, not in the problems. We have to be the part of the solution, not the problem. And always remember that every problem is having a solution. Uh, now, I will just read out the few clippings of the newspaper which I have collected. Some of them are in Hindi, some of them are in English. Um, sustainable development balance between environment, economy, and the ethics. Uh, maintaining positivity in the COVID times. Uh, Anand ke teen raj khulkar jina gehri saans aur bharpoor prem. Uh, depression. 30 minutes ka vayam, pal sabdiyan saath ghante ki neen sabse badi dawa. Uh, improving cardiac health could be key to managing the COVID pain. Uh, uh, mushkil samay mein jiye stress free life. Online shadhai ne bigaadi dikhai. COVID has of the elderly people. The pandemic-related so, social cohesion or solidarity ka pyok kijiye. COVID-19 hidden lesson. Elderly who live without working, age peoplely at higher COVID risk study by the UNESCO. Women, women 11 times more likely to not work after COVID job loss. Psychological impact of COVID-19 on the human mind. No work, no food, low wages, poor women uh, uh, born in the first lockdown, coping with the life during the COVID times. Lockdown has increased the separation of anxiety and the adaptive parents. Corona kaal mein bache chirchire patka shikar. 82% women employees in India see workload rise during co uh, Corona. These are the few points which I, uh, I thought let me share with you. Now from my, my side is over and is uh, open to all observations, thoughts, addition, deletion, discussions and their own views. Uh, once again, thank you for providing me this opportunity. I don't know how much I will be successful, but I have tried. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.